tell y'all right off the bat, I'm fired up this morning. I almost did this video at 2 a.m. just because I couldn't get it off my mind. I'm so fired up, I wore my Wolverine shirt, <laughs> which you can get at buddybrowncountry.com, by the way. Look, first off, top of the morning to you, okay? Um, I really don't have a train of thought on this channel. I've got like seven trains on four different tracks that uh, their paths narrowly miss every single time and all the conductors are screaming. <laughs> That's what it's like to live up here in my brain. But the spirit always remains the same. You mess with anybody that watches Buddy Brown videos, you're basically done screwed up because you're messing with somebody who survived wooden spoons, lead paint, no car seat, no bike helmet, riding in the truck bed and drinking water from the garden hose. You know what I'm saying? Hit like if you ever grew up drinking water from the garden hose. These kids don't know what they're missing. We're the most resilient species on planet Earth. <laughs> so we got a coyote problem. And I ain't talking about the kind of coyotes that are running whitetail off your property. I'm talking about the kind of coyotes getting paid dark money to smuggle illegals into our nation. There's huge, huge money in the cartel business and smuggling and trafficking and is run, this business is run like a well-oiled machine. The wild thing is y'all, the media has everybody convinced that there's no crisis whatsoever down there at the border and the deception has worked. Now, some people learn about deception from the news. I personally learned about deception from being out here in the woods. For instance, how the heck does a 180 pound deer walk through the woods with a floor full of dry leaves and not make a sound? The little half pound squirrel can sound like a 300 pound fat girl in flip flops carrying six Walmart bags. You know what I'm saying? Deception, that's how. So the big news of the week is the citizens of Yuma, Arizona are saying that the cartel, not the US government, is in charge of our border now. Pretty sobering, right? Crickets with most Americans. I'll tell you why you hear crickets. And it's not just because my phenomenal editor can dub them in the video at just the right spot. <laughs> why you hear crickets is most Americans believe that all this encroachment is gonna stop right here at the border. Now 30, 40 years ago, for instance, we would have never thought of giving up one single inch of our lunch table. Now we're bringing out folding chairs. You know, and it should be no surprise, hell, our border wall is as incomplete as Tom Brady's passes recently. <laughs> Y'all really want the answer? If you really want the answer, then lean in. Kids, come on up to the adult table. Uncle Buddy's gonna let you taste your first beer tonight. You gotta ask yourselves, what political move 10 years from now would be completely unthinkable from right here where we sit in 2023? Would it be unthinkable for the US government to give, I don't know, Western Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, back to Mexico? Hell, I mean, that's unthinkable. And since it's unthinkable, that's exactly the kind of tyranny we need to punch in the mouth. Can y'all imagine having a big old ranch out in Albuquerque or El Paso or Tucson running cattle, being a cowboy, and the government comes knocking on the door one day. Tap, 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 tap. Imminent domain, time to leave. You don't know it, but we just redrew all the boundary lines in DC last, last week. <laughs> now you gotta forfeit your land. If you remember Lion King back uh, when Scar took over, the hyenas were in charge of the government. That's the cartel. The reason I'm telling y'all this is because everybody is saying that our breed of patriot is disappearing. Let me remind you, we're still here. We're at the airport, we're at the gas station, we're at the school board meetings, we're in your neighborhoods. We're still here, I'm still here. They want you to think that you're all alone, but there are tens and tens of millions of us still fighting. So hold fast, Yuma, Arizona, hold fast. Keep your nose clean and remember, remember, never lie, cheat, steal, sell drugs or kill because the government hates competition. Y'all be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Appreciate you, be good.